Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this week, we're going to be getting into part two of our Horace Pippin folk art project. Now, as you remember, last week we were drawing a picture of ourselves uh, drawing or painting in whatever space we create in. We are creating our own style of folk art, drawing everyday normal things the way they are, uh, the way we see them. Uh, today, we're going to be adding color to these, but uh, to stay true to the style of Horace Pippin, we're going to be using natural colors and not really bright colors for most of it. And then we're going to be adding a splash of red. And if you didn't get a chance to hear the story last week, uh, I will include a link to that story. It's called A Splash of Red. It's a great story, and uh, if you didn't get a chance to listen to it or read it, I'll include that link. Uh, but let's get started on adding color to our Horace Pippin project. Okay, so this time around, I've got my drawing, I've got uh, some selected colors. Now you're probably noticing that the colors I selected here aren't really bright colors. They're a little bit drab, they're a little bit dull, but uh, I want to use mainly these colors in my drawing because in honor of Horace Pippin, I want to add that splash of red and I want that red to really pop. Do you notice how the red really stands out amongst all of these colors? So I'm going to actually use a combination of markers, colored pencils, and crayons. And normally I would say uh, to sharpie over your drawing, but today I, I think that we're just going to leave it penciled. That way it's a little bit more true to Horace Pippin's style. He wasn't an artist that had really intensely dark outlines around his uh, objects or figures. All the colors just kind of met each other without a divide between them. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Maybe I'll turn on some music, I'm gonna start coloring, and I think I'm gonna be thinking about where I want those splashes of red to occur. Now I don't want too many splashes of red, just a few. So I think I'm gonna start with these more earth tone or natural colors first, and then I'll add some red later on. Okay, here we go. All right, so I have completely filled in uh, the majority of my paper, and you can probably tell there's a few spots I haven't colored. That is where I'm gonna put my Horace Pippin splash of red. So I'm gonna take my red marker, and you can already tell how this red is gonna stand out against these muted colors. I have a lot of browns, grays, blues, a little bit of yellow, but mainly I wanted the colors to seem a little bit dull. That way, the color of the red will pop out all the more. So let's see what kind of effect it has. I'm going to start with a red chair. Wow, that really stands out. I'm going to make just a few more things red in this picture, and uh, we'll see if you can spot them. Okay, can you spot my splashes of red? Well, you saw me do the chair, but over here you can see I've got a red record. There's a red house out my window. Part of the Learn, Make, Share poster is red, and you can see one red record sleeve. Maybe it's the sleeve for this record. Now you're probably wondering, this space right here, what's going to happen there? That is up to you. I want your imagination to just go to work, and you get to decide what's going on in there. Um, since it's kind of a rectangle, I actually think I'm gonna do some zentangling in this space. So I'm just gonna grab uh, a simple marker or pen and show myself drawing a pretty large zentangle.
All right, I'm feeling good about this. You'll notice in my Zentangle area, I didn't really wanna go too dark or um, add too much color there. If you wanna add more color to this area, you may. I just didn't wanna distract from my splashes of red. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you enjoyed learning about Horace Pippin and his interesting uh, style of folk art. I can't wait to share more uh, art with you next week, Van Heis. But uh, until then, hope you have a great week. Thanks for drawing with me.